starting off midday by tracking Helene. I want you to take a look at this. This Helene roared ashore south of Tallahassee as a category four storm in Tampa. Roads turned in the rivers. You see it right there. The area hit with strong bands of wind and rain. This video appearing to even show uh, exploding transformers. Incredible what we're seeing. The storm is raging. I have got flooding so bad. And near St. Petersburg, the lobby of the All Seasons Hotel is underwater. On nearby Interstate 4, a highway sign fell onto a vehicle, killing that driver. Hundreds of people in Taylor County in Florida in the bull's eye of that storm. And this morning, new video is showing the impacts of the storm on Georgia. Ariana Manis is reporting as residents there had to be rescued Thursday from the floodwaters. Flooding and high water ahead of Helene's arrival in Metro Atlanta left residents stranded in their apartments until firefighters were able to come and evacuate them. Atlanta Fire and Rescue used floating rafts going door to door to make several rescues to bring people to high ground. We saw three family members being rescued in one attempt and another family and their pets. Residents say the water in their homes were up to their knees at one point. A resident tells us the complex filled with water rapidly within an hour. We also watch as residents try to move their cars to higher ground and others jumping in to help by helping families navigate through waist deep water in the parking lot and knocking on doors to tell them to get out while they can. There was water almost to the second floor of some of the buildings in the back and it's just people are in hysterics. I mean, entire livelihoods are, are destroyed right now. Um, and my buddy actually volunteered to drive them to the hotel, so. Yeah. Have you ever seen it like this before? No, no, no. I mean, even growing up in Florida, you know, I'm used to, well, every summer in Florida, I'm used to bad weather. But in Georgia, I mean, this is, this is, I'm not used to this. And all Atlanta Fire and Rescue say they evacuated over 25 residents from this apartment complex. Many tell me that they were heading to hotels or a friend's home until they were able to figure out where to go from here. Reporting from Atlanta, I'm Ariana Menise. Well, I can only imagine what they're going through. Yeah. I mean, just so much water. A lot of water, a lot of flooding, and I noticed a lot of power outages, yes. too. In the state of Georgia, over a million. In the state of South Carolina, a million. And Florida went over a million. I mean, mm -hmm. so people lost their power because of this as well. So we are taking another look at it. Of course, it's weakened a lot. This is down to a tropical storm now, Helene. And you can see it's putting down rain, but not much more wind out there. We had a couple tornado warnings earlier in North Carolina, but uh, the worst is over. It will rain up in these areas. They will see some heavy rain, especially where there's some mountainous areas at orographic lift. It's going to continue to uh, swirl its way back into just south of St. Louis and then kind of die off here. But the rain will get lighter and lighter.